Welcome to Goyo's Garden and Tie-Dyes. I'm Greg. All right, today we will be doing a Gildan Adult 3X. The shirt has been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes or longer. And then spun out my Panda Spin Dryer. If you don't have one, your regular washing machine spin cycle will work just fine. It just makes your shirts a lot easier to work with when they're damp. Okay, so I found center on the front of this and top and bottom. And I'm going to be attempting a mushroom. Those of you that know me know I've had several failed mushrooms. <laughs> uh, a neighbor actually drew this out for me. So at least I have a line to follow. And this is sped up just a little bit. I didn't just conquer the lines all of a sudden. I have to give us a real sharp turn here and hope we stay straight on that line. Seems to be working. For some reason, I can't pleat it this side, but I can't tie it the other way. So I'm still working on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna add one more uh, sinew line in there to see if maybe I can't double my luck. And the closer you have your sinew puller to the shirt, you get a much nicer pull off of it. I'm just tying a knot in the end that I learned from uh, Mr. Tie-Dye. Makes it easier to find when you're trying to untie them. And on the back side here, I'm just gonna ad-lib a pleat. Gonna pleat it up, make a couple little turns so it's not just straight up and down. So I'm not gonna have a clue what this is actually going to look like until I'm done with it. But I do like the idea of uh, pleating the backs. It beats uh, the, just the scrunch. Cause usually when you do the front of a scrunch, the back just, just never seems to process to die all the way through it. Always have little spotchy spots. All right, we're almost done with the spine there. Put a little knot in there, and then we'll do our little scrunch. And shove one sleeve inside the other. That sure helps out to spread the dye around, that's for sure. And I do apologize right now. I'm gonna put some rubber bands on here, tie down that scrunch, but I didn't get the actual applying of the dye. I have doing the hot water, but not applying the dye on the shirt itself. But I do have the colors. And you'll notice there'll be a closet rod there and that's to hold the two ends up to keep the center from running into them. Okay, here it is. Our colors are Timberwolf, Chinese Red, Lemon Yellow, Peony, and Jade Green. I said that little rods there to hold the ends up, keep all that 
thick stuff from running down into them, separate the colors a little bit. Cheese cloth to pres- uh, vent uh, splatter from rubber bands. Yeah, the Hudson sprayer I'm using right now. I call it a Hudson sprayer. That's just the name brand I've always used my whole life. Actually, I believe this is a champion. I'm not sure. There's all kinds of makers of it, but they're all pretty much the same. This one here has a nice big fan spray on it that I'm not particularly fond of for working outside. It gets everything wet. But for cleaning up something, it does very well. But I've used my other one for over a year or so. Maybe that's why. Those of you that know me know if I find something that works, I don't change it. I may try something else, but nine times out of ten, ten but I won't change. <laughs> now, I'm not going to edit that one out. I've already been too deep in editing on this. <laughs> Usually when I'm done spraying uh, completely, I'll take and slide this project to the left, to the other end of the rack, where it'll sit while I process another shirt until the end of the day, and that's when I wash them out. Supposedly uh, 15 minutes and you're done. I don't think I've ever done it in 15 minutes because I've got other things to do, but they're there when you're ready for them. As you can see how, if that was down, all those colors would be running into my other colors too. I'm going to add a little bit more on here, a little bit more of the peony and the jade green. Seeing some light spots there. Stoke that down in a little bit will be good then on to the next big screw up <laughs> and it's a coming okay so I'm gonna check to see if it's good like I said I'll slide it to the left and when I do boop there it goes oh well I'll fish it out later <laughs> okay we're ready to do the shirts here's the back my wayward spine it's something and here's the front and you can tell it's a mushroom finally something that even resembles a mushroom <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you liked it please hit like and if you want to share it by all means please do once again thank you and I'll see you next time.